there's a selection of uh, hot rocks there's uh, hot rocks from Kalgoorlie so these little ones here ironstone they just go off like gold nuggets um, banded ironstone red clay fired brick basalt ok we'll try the nastiest ones first these are ironstone from Kalgoorlie Gold nugget. Bit of a washy sound, but you know, you come up on these and uh, some of them just sound like gold. Anyway, notice how the signal drops right away and just about tracks out. You keep at it. You will track it out, I think. There you go. Kalgoorlie hot rock, nulled. Banded ironstone, another nasty material. That's nulling out quite nicely. So you get a signal that nulls out like that, you'll say, okay, it's a hot rock. Bit of interference coming through, but anyway. Red clay. There you go. Gone. Basalt. <clears throat> Probably got a decay curve, much the same as the red clay. Burst of interference. Disappearing. Yeah, basically faded out. Now the thing is, with a piece of gold, even that small, you probably notice that the detector won't track it out. Probably do this for an hour. <laughs> I'm way above the coil, as you can see. So, um, good little things bounce your coil in um, when you get a target, you can bounce it up and down over a uh, loud signal. You don't know if it's gold or. Uh, if it's um, some sort of hot rock and if the signal diminishes at a great um, pace um, I'm 99.9% .9 sure that's going to be a hot rock so uh, this detector too is quite sensitive if I use my little fleck, fleck here in the bag don't know if you can even see that, there it is in there Yeah. Pick that up at uh, 10 centimeters. There it is in there. A bit of gold this big. Eighteen centimeters. That's on a GP extreme. So there you go, hot rocks, let's get rid of them, track them out, 
Nasty Kalgoorlie ones. Gone. <laughs> anyway, catch us later.